What's up, guys? It's Other Jesus, and I'm back with some Borderlands 2. Been busy the past couple days. I had a paying job that I needed to finish. I was doing some editing on a wedding video that I filmed, and I had the flu the past couple days as well. So while I didn't upload any videos, I was sitting on my ass playing some Borderlands 2, taking care of these Borderlands 2 loot hunt challenges every single day. So I do apologize I didn't get any of these fun videos for you guys up, but I'm trying to catch up right now, put a couple videos up for you. So this was day three, which was a couple days ago, which was three days ago, and Captain Flint is dropping the dog. Now, I've had this shotgun before, not really a huge fan of it. I tried it, maybe I just didn't have the right character or the right build, but it just didn't do anything for me. And I'll read from the wiki and I will tell you why. The dog, it's a unique shotgun. It's manufactured by Bandit. And it's, I mean, you can get it from randomly from any loot source, but it usually drops from the Assassin Roof in South Paw Steam and Power, which I thought was interesting because I think it was day four, the, the next day, the day after this one, you go fight the Assassins um, and I'll, I'll do that video for you next. But anyway, it's a unique weapon, the red text, because one barrel ain't enough and two is too few. Increased damage, fire rate, and magazine size at the cost of stability. So, I mean, it's a pretty powerful shotgun, um, but it always spawns with three barrels, and so even though it's a bandit shotgun and they have higher magazine sizes, it's just kind of pointless because you shoot, I think, you know, three rounds per shot because of three barrels, and I just didn't like it, bottom line. Anyway, so you can see here you have to travel to the southern shelf because Captain Flint was dropping this weapon for us, which at first I thought it was a weird choice, but then I thought this is kind of cool what Gearbox is doing, how you're kind of progressing through the game and taking out these bosses and they're dropping different weapons. And you can see right here this weird glitch where Captain Flint, you can see him from the bottom before you actually go up and fight him. Uh, but you can't hurt him, but his fire can still hurt you and his outlaws actually took me down, but luckily I got back up right there. But here's the actual fight here, and I was not excited to get this weapon. So I, I didn't do it on Overpower 8, I pretty much just went in on level 72 with a lot of my OP8 weapons and just kind of trashed them. I just, I didn't care if I got an OP8 of this weapon or not, I wasn't going to use it, I sold my other dog back. So I just kind of went in and took him out, you know, I wasn't even really caring, I just wanted to get this footage for you guys, I wasn't excited to use this weapon. Uh, Stargirl got caught up in some fire right there and caught herself on fire. <laughs> Um, as I was saying though, I thought it was kind of cool what Gearbox was doing, how they were kind of taking you through the game. These first couple days of the loot challenge, they were kind of taking you through the game and getting you to these bosses, and, the, and these bosses were dropping unusual, uniques, and legendaries, which I thought was really cool. Um, but they kind of really threw that for a loop today. Because today they actually had you do some DLC on Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. So I thought that was kind of interesting because it seemed to be like they were just kind of progressing you through the game and then they really threw it for a loop. So you can see right here, he did drop Captain Flint's Tender Box. So he dropped two uniques. There he drops the Zapper Dog for me. Zapper, I guess, because it does electrical damage. And it's a level 72. And, uh... Actually, does times fourteen. I just realized that I didn't. I don't know if every dog did times fourteen. I actually just saw that just now. That just goes to show you that I was not excited about getting this weapon. I didn't even pay attention. So I don't know if it normally did that high of a multiplier times fourteen. I don't know. Maybe you guys, if you know, you can leave a comment. And let me know because I didn't notice that before. Times fourteen <laughs> got me thinking. I remember using it for a little while. I think actually when I was in Tiny Tina's DLC because. Um, I didn't have another good shotgun for a while, and I was those fucking skeletons, man. God, I hate those skeletons so much, and I was just trying anything I had, but I ended up selling it back. I don't know. I don't even know if that's accurate. I can't quite remember. Um, anyway, guys, 
that's it. A little short video for you guys. Just want to say thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I'm going to get some more videos out for you guys. Anyway, that's it for this one. All right, guys, I'm out. Sleep well.